Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading. Let's see the energies we have going on for Gemini right now. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life, Gemini. Let's see. Honeymoon, spending, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I feel like this is just a real need to want to be with somebody over the holiday seasons and just a real need. I don't want to be alone. I, I Me, I feel like I understand where that urgency or that want, desire is coming from and I also can play devil's advocate and see that that is a codependency. So you could even be staying with somebody or want somebody for the wrong reasons here. Yeah, <laughs> pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, Gemini. So it may be like, you know, oh, I want my ex back because I feel lonely. But it, it could be for the wrong reason. You may just want them back because it's Christmas time and, you know, the holiday periods and things like that, you know. Um Work on yourself and everything else will fall into place. Align yourself, okay? Yeah, Ascension, King of Swords. Um, this is you. You're working on meeting somebody or building yourself up to this place where no one can interfere with your happiness. You know the truth. You may even know this person's wrong for you and refuse to cut them out at this time because it's Christmas or something. So maybe you just wanted to be together because it's Christmas or even somebody could be doing that with you, Gemini. We do have cross watchers. They may want to be with you for all the wrong reasons, right? Because it's Christmas. Um, I do understand. I hate New Year's Eve being alone. Yeah, four of one. So you're seeing the signs and the signs are not always positive. 11-11, you could be... Just trust the niggle, right? If something is within you and it's telling you, look, this isn't right, something's not right, trust it. That's your gut trying to tell you something. It may be that you just want this happy family home um, with the four of wands, but I feel like some of you are moving towards a new beginning. The magician, yeah, you're, you're holding yourself back um, from having what you actually desire by staying with something due to fear. Maybe fear of being let go or fear of giving up and fearing of never finding love again. So this is why what you truly desire, somebody as fair, ascended, as loyal as you to come into your life and have this new beginning. The magician, there's been delays on you meeting that person. Maybe another air sign coming towards you to make this love offer with the Knight of Cups here, somebody who's ready for love, but there's been delays because you may be ignoring the signs, waiting for or being with the wrong person. So it seems like you could or that your partner could be with the wrong person, the Empress, and that's um, Venus there. So yeah, it's kind of saying, if you're in a relationship, um, I would feel like one of you are staying in it for the wrong reasons, even though you know the truth. Um, and this is causing delays on somebody who's meant for you coming into your life. If you're single, you may be attached to the past, okay? Um, and that's what's stopping love coming into your life. Some of you just need to wait on divine timing and wait for that natal Venus to line up. It might just be that the stars haven't lined it up for you yet because major arcana reversed are just delays. It doesn't mean that it won't happen. Um, you may be saying, where's my love? I've ascended with that King of Swords energy. I'm at top of my game. I'm ready. Um, so there has been delays in this love offer coming towards you. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, again, it's suggesting that it might be because you want to reunite with somebody who isn't ready to reunite with you yet. Um... And you could be putting blocks. They may have blocked you forever with the nine of wands um, reversed. The thing is, even if we want an ex back and we feel like, you know, well, they've blocked us forever, that sort of thinking puts blockages in the way. Um, 
the nine of wands is a fence of protection around yourself. It may be that the divine is not bringing love into your life yet because you need to be able to have healthy boundaries in place to protect yourself or people will keep coming in and hurting you, using you. So that's why you haven't seen this union yet. But at this time of year, it's sort of bringing up those emotions with the three of cups being in the heart of the reading. It's stirring up that feeling that I want to be with somebody at this time of year. I want to celebrate. I want to enjoy. I want to lay on the sofa and watch Christmas movies with somebody. Um, but it seems with the nine related to the hermit, um, it's like there's work to be done on yourself, on protecting yourself. Ace of Wands. Yeah, so it can be that the opportunity to reunite with somebody, if it's an ex here, hasn't presented itself yet but the burden of that relationship is still with you with these 10 wands here reversed so it's like you haven't let go of the burden or you haven't learned the lesson of the previous relationship and that's why love hasn't come in for you yet seven of wands now okay you're still dealing with um a past challenge the seven is your seventh house about long-term relationships. So you could be meeting people and having short-term relationships with them, but that's because you need these healthy boundaries in place. So if you've now stayed single for a long time, it's because the divine has had to step in and protect you, right? So you may feel like, why is this happening to me? Why aren't I meeting somebody? But it's happening for you here. It's protection. You're divinely protected until the right time until you've either learnt your lessons. And of course, if you are ascended and you feel like I'm ready, your soulmate is not ready yet. Yep, Wheel of Fortune reversed there. So we see that at this moment, things aren't changing. It may, it may, you may even feel like bored and things like that because a change hasn't occurred. Um, if, like I said, you're one of those who the change has occurred and you've ascended, um, but there's delays, it could be something going on with your life partner. You know, I always say, like, if we send our children to school or if we want a doctor, we wouldn't want a doctor who hasn't finished school, right? So we don't want a soulmate who hasn't finished their lessons, right? Just imagine having a surgeon who hasn't finished or learned their lessons right learn about how to be the best they can be if we just look at it that way it may be making it easier to wait like okay i'll wait for that surgeon to do his courses right maybe the best surgeon in the world and this soulmate may be the best lover in the world once they finish their lessons okay so there is a stream of love supporting my dreams so you are like I said, divinely protected, okay? Dare to dream here and bring in these beautiful things. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. And that is for those who, um, you know, are at that place of ascension and are ready with the King of Swords and the Four of Wands. Take notice of the people who aren't ready for you as well. That's also an important part of the journey. I do believe that some of you are wishing um, to be with somebody right now and that could be causing codependency blockages just be just being aware of ourself um, will help us along this spiritual journey good luck guys